Okay, now <clears throat> question eight. Still, is this is a good example. Question paper, grade 12, 2014. Okay, now question five. You guys see, it's actually a question on e work, energy, and power. So, Lana was a 3 kg trolley. Uh, but okay, as 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 check at the sketch, it got a trolley and then see a bona le trolley to ba apply a, a 10 newton force to the right so the trolley is a mover from this point to p and then you end up somewhere go q and uh, the 10 meter it's from p to q it's the it's the distance from p to q and then sibanani the height from the bottom all the way up to q so statement for Question five. Okay, before we the statement, before we the statement, I would like to mention something. Lana in the description below, also tola ama links for ama yama questions or kona la question paper. Please consider subscribing. Nanga bu new to my channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, share na bangan ba ko. Nanga we we enjoy this video. So as ngene ge, as pendule the question ge now. Um. But here, 3 kg trolley is at rest on a horizontal frictionless surface. A constant horizontal force of 10 newton is applied to the trolley over a distance of 2.5 meters. So the trolley was a mover from this point, the stationary point to P, of a distance of 2.5 meters. Now, see so a statement, but here, when the force is removed at P, so should by push a trolley, by push and basically trolley is what they figure will P, they stop pushing it, meaning by removal the force. Then the trolley moves a distance of 10 meters up the incline until it reaches the maximum height at point Q. While the trolley moves up the incline, there's a constant frictional force of two newtons acting on it so the the horizontal surface as not free uh, the horizontal friction yeah, the horizontal surface doesn't have friction and then the incline has a friction which and a friction is as good it's a non-conservative force see as with the friction is a non-conservative force uh so what in it, uh, the first question but you write down the name of a non-conservative force acting on a trolley as it moves up the incline so i just gave away your answer single so question five five point one a non-conservative force on the incline is frictional force i have a question for nina guys what's the non-conservative force on the horizontal surface do we have a non-conservative force on the horizontal surface yes or no if there is leave a comment in the comment section jelly answer for this question 80 is there a horizontal is there a non-conservative force on the horizontal surface? Yes or no? If there is a horizontal force, if there is a non-conservative force, please just say yes. Then upalai kama yaleo non-conservative force on the horizontal surface. Now, 5.2. Siya kube gamaji. 5.2. Draw a label free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the trolley as it moves along the horizontal surface. So on the horizontal surface, if free logang, if free body diagram here to the white line again. So banani, the normal force of course. This is the trolley. On a, if the object actually is on a surface, whether inclined, horizontal, as long as in contact with the surface, with any surface, guzo banani, the normal force. Subuya sibenani, no weight. Subuya sibenani, the applied force, 10 newton force, the, two, the 10 newton force. Ne? So it's three marks, free body dark, remi, three marks. 
so it means you wanna three ama forces. Uh, Five point three. State the work energy theorem in words. What uh, he The net work uh, done is equal to. Uh, the change in kine kine kinetic energy is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object. That's why I'm going to talk about my logic, my definitions. Turn over by line the description below because sometimes the handwriting yam man you know kichi manji you know baleg ya rat ya kichi jacha rat ya baleg okay five point four hmm five point four but he used the work energy theorem to calculate the speed of the trolley when it reaches point P funa the velocity of the trolley when it reaches point p why push i push i push i push i push i push i push let's say each night figure la p by yege so so as it moves from this stationary point i figure go p is over in a in a velocity because your accelerator is by push right now 5.4 uh net work done is equal to a change in kinetic energy as as still in a network done the network done the normal force is doing work so now how many forces last not three are my forces so the network done must be the sum of all the work done by each of the forces in the system so work done by weight and then work done by applied force is equal to is equal to this is zero why because a perpendicular force does zero work lanite zero again weight is perpendicular to the direction of motion so therefore it does what zero work plus one gamma forces are perpendicular ions are zero work the applied force again much the applied force and you show the work done is force times delta x times cos bunny theta cos theta is equal to so level zero in about destroyer and so salana only this formula the force applied is what is 10 distance it's 2.5 horizontal surface and and then cos theta theta way to the zero degrees zero degrees the force is in the direction of motion so therefore the angle between 10 newton and the direction of motion is about one zero degrees so network is 10 times 2.5 times cos zero degrees is equal to 25 is equal to 25 so it's 25 joules right as calculated the change in kinetic energy much it's e final minus e initial e final it's m v final squared minus bunny zero so therefore the change in kinetic energy is just half m v final squared yes so therefore zoti get in uh, it's 25 equal to half m v final squared I'm sure. 
E, the change in kinetic energy is equal to this. Né? And the work the in, 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 in net work done is equal to 25. So therefore, we will calculate the final velocity at P. So we will calculate piece by piece and calculate to work net work net gala uh, calculator the change in kinetic energy then sing a substitute target margin and then the mass of the trolley is three final velocity get as okay as you work it out again yeah. as you work it out so it's cross multiplication like it's two times 25 let me do this any confusion so you calculate this dollar it's half times three it's one comma five so it's 25 equal to one comma five v final squared divide both sides one comma five one comma five cancel cancel in salon of v f squared Salon of VF squared. Uh, 25 divided by 1,5. 16,67 is equal to VF squared. So now square of both sides. So it's the square root of 16,67 is 4,08 meters per second. This is the final velocity. This is the final velocity. Now, final velocity A to get. And then, the sense of question one, I call 5.4. The sense of 5.4. Now, 5.5. 5.5. But to calculate the height that the trolley reaches at point Q. So, therefore, Pegag, on the incline, as you trolley at Ingenago incline, Sibanani, the non conservative force. So as it trolley to enter the incline, Sibane non conservative force, which is 2 Newton. It's the frictional force. Ne? It's the frictional force. That's the frictional force. So 5.5. Since it's in a non conservative force on the incline, so seven sale formula, it work done by. A non-conservative force is equal to E change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. Okay. 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 Alright. Uh, work done by a non-conservative force. We only have one non-conservative force on the incline, which is the frictional force. So therefore, the work done is F, the frictional force times the distance traveled by the trolley, cos theta, equal to change in kinetic energy. It's EK final minus EK initial ek initial plus e p final minus e p initial so therefore i substitute our values way to get much what's the value of f it's two newton distance it's 10 cos theta is 180 degrees why because the direction of motion is forward and any friction is acting in the opposite direction so the angle between its 180 degrees equal to ek final ek final uh, ek final let's go on again what happens to the trolley at the point Q? Hmm. 
Okay. Let's see it again. Half m v finite squared minus half m v initial squared plus the m g h final minus m g h initial. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't calculate this one. Light 10, 2 times 10 times cos 180. Up. It's minus 20. <coughs> Equal to. All right, again. Okay. I'm going to show the trolley is or reach the maximum height. So the final, the kinetic energy at point Q is about one, is about zero. When I figure Pezu, is over stationary. I'm sure I'm going to know. I'm going to know. I'm going to know. I'm going to know. So, I'm going to know. I'm going to know. I'm going to know. These guys are skaters, ne? Am ask am am beg. Uno uno ba bona uma ba kibela ama 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 inclined planes. Wano pusha the skate by pusha by pusha. Bese ba 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 ngatin ba kupu genge inclined. But na ba figa at the maximum height by a stop. Bese ba buye ba inzeni by a pan. So it's the same logic nala. Le trolley na yo figa le pezu. These over stationary, of course. Then is obuya back pass. So that's why I need to the final velocity. La is oba ubani u zero. The kinetic energy is oba u zero. The final kinetic energy is oba u zero. Minus. Let's substitute la. Kasa ase minang funa. The height. This height. Calculate the height. The question iti. Calculate the height that the trolley reaches at point Q. So the height is taller from the potential, the gravitational potential energy formula. So is a pumala the height. So mass it's three. Just to be sure, yeah, it's three. Initial velocity. It's the velocity you calculate on the previous question. Actually, move up from P to Q. So so seven side the velocity at P which is the initial and the final velocity at Q is zero. The initial velocity is 4,08 squared plus the final potential energy is what? Is mass 3, 9,8 HF minus zero. Why minus zero? Because initially at P, the potential energy is zero. There's no height at potential. So there's no height at point P. So therefore, it's minus 20 equal to the answer lana is about negative half times 3 times 4,08 squared is equal to minus 24. Comma nine seven. Nan calculate an up at three times nine comma eight is equal to plus twenty nine comma four zero HF transpose so minus twenty plus twenty four comma nine seven equal to twenty nine comma four zero HF Minus 20 plus 24,97 is equal to 4,97 equal to 29,40 HF. So now divide the both sides more 29,40, 29,40 HF. Zero comma one seven meters. 
Now I answer it to the our answer is 0, 0,17 meters. Thanks for watching. Now we enjoy this video. Please leave a like. Share on a back. Please, 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 if you can. Now we enjoy it. Because yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, by doing so, you are helping the channel. And uh, when you with the, the algorithm, it pushes the Lama video. So that the banyam students as was a way to all the video. So thanks for watching. So bonagle video in the description below. So tola manyama video. Peace.